Starting off with the top three things from Keith's macro notebook this morning. Number one, the S&P 500. It's getting a lot of attention as it approaches this 200-day moving average. Obviously, that's not a risk management signal to us at Hedgeye. 1967 remains bearish trend resistance, and there's no immediate term support to 1835. That's right, 1835. Um, with the WIST range wide open on the VIX as well, from 15 spot 06 to 2849. Uh, a lot of upside to volatility over the immediate, immediate term. Number two, oil. Um, after a one day rally, it failed again, and both Britain and WTI are down roughly a percent this morning. Um, there's no immediate term support on WTI to 79.75. Um, there's a, five, a negative 5.2% move in the energy stocks for October to date. And on some of these uh, immediate term rallies, some of the best looking shorts in the energy space are in the MLP sector. Uh, ping uh, sales at hedgeye.com if you need the Kevin Kaiser's latest slide deck on that. And then lastly, the 10-year yield. So the winning position for 2014 has undoubtedly been in the long end of the bond market, whether it be in TLT terms, EDV terms, or MUB terms. Um, there's the immediate term support uh, on the 10-year yield down at 2 spot 11, which is a long way down from the top end of the risk range at 2 spot 25%. Um, so again, those are the top three things that Keith Macro Notebook.